So, hi! I recently got a new computer. This new computer doesn't have the old Photoshop that I had on my old computer. Therefore, I now have a new Photoshop and I have no idea how this works. I am... So, I decided that I'm gonna take a painting that I did today, uh, or a sketch it is. It is a sketch of a witch and I decided I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it into my computer and I'm gonna practice with it in this new Photoshop that I have no idea how it works. And that's what I did and I recorded it to see if the recordings work as they should and OBS works on this computer and yeah it was a lot of tests and trying and error, trial and error, blah, blah, blah. and if you want to follow me here we go! So, the first thing I did was import it into Photoshop and I took just a simple photo of the, the witch, the character I drew because I didn't really care about the quality this time, I just wanted to get it into the computer as quick as possible and this witch is actually something I dreamed that I was drawing a couple of nights ago I didn't draw exactly this in my dream, but I did sketch something very very similar, this exact pose and everything and it has been in my mind ever since, so I decided finally today to actually sketch it and just draw it, to get it out of my head. And then I realized that, you know what, this could be the perfect uh, drawing to actually uh, try to paint in this new Photoshop that I'm not used to at all. And I'm one of those people who actually hate, hate, hate change. I get really cranky and angry and just really annoyed when I don't find everything at once and I hate learning new stuff. So when I actually had this new Photoshop, I was like, oh great, I'm gonna have to relearn everything. Um, I don't have to really relearn everything because I still know the program, but it's still a lot different um, in, in, in certain ways. Yeah, this first one is just... I'm gonna color this three different ways, by the way, because just to really get my f hands on this program again. And this first one is the one that I had in mind when I was thinking of the character, when I was thinking of this character in my dream, and when I was sketching her, this was the version I saw. This dark, dark blue, almost black uh, type of clothing. So that's what I'm drawing. I also have a new version of Premiere, so that's also fun to actually edit this video. Premiere is actually worse than Photoshop. Photoshop is pretty much the same program despite how old it is, but Premiere is just... it's like they change so much with each update and this new version is driving me insane right now because there's stuff I could do in the old version that I can't do on this one, so... Yeah, this will be so fun to edit! <laughs> or not. I colored this one in a way that I usually did long ago, I haven't done it like this in a very very long time, and that is that I color something, I put down the flat color or the ground, the first color, then I shade it immediately, and then I move on to the next thing. And also I use, uh, I set the layer to, I think it is multiply, and so the first layer is in multiply and everything painted on top is not, it's a normal. That, this is what I did, usually did way back. I mixed the layer options and whatnot to just to see what looks good and I don't really do that anymore but uh, doing this and just trying to get a grip on how to color again and how I wanted this lady to look, I just, I just did it. I didn't really think when I did this version. Um, I did a lot more thinking on the other ones.
and don't really mind the post her posture and her I'm not sure if she, she has the balance in this pose, I don't think so because as I said it's, it was a very quick sketch and just to get it out of my head I didn't think about it too much I know that's a bad excuse but that's what I'm going with and here she is the first one, the one I had in my dream black clothes painted in a way that I haven't painted in for so long and here we go with the second one I decided this time to do, I think I do that at least, do all the flat colors um, first. I drew I drew these just a couple of hours ago and I already have forgotten everything I did. Yeah, I do that. I put down all the flat colors first and this time all the layers are in the normal mode and only the actual sketch. Yeah, the sketch is in, I think it's multiplied this time to get it see-through. And this is much more reminiscent of how I do now. Nowadays, when I have a sketch or something traditional, I put it into the computer and I, it is the layer that is on top. And under it I have all the colors and the colors are mostly, or yeah, all the colors are in normal, set, the layers are set to normal, except when I'm doing effects and stuff later on, but yeah. So this is more, more likely how I do now. I also really hate those shoes. I know they look awful. Don't, don't look at me. <laughs> don't talk about them. I know they are absolutely hideous. Shoes are something I need to seriously need to work on. I have that as on my to-do list to try and work on to draw because I am absolutely awful at drawing shoes and clothes in general, but yeah. So after I had after I had drawn the first one, I was pretty happy with how she turned out, mostly because I haven't drawn for so long or painted in Photoshop for so long. And also, yeah, here's the sun. <laughs> I realized in the middle maybe when I was when I was halfway done with the first one, I realized that the shadows were all over and there was nothing nothing coherent about that at all and I think that's because I didn't really think so much about the shadows and where they were coming from and I had so much other stuff to think about when it comes to the painting so shadows were the least of my problems so they are all over the place and it's awful so here I actually decided to put down the sun to get some decent light source and I haven't done that for so long but yeah, I usually don't need it, but here I apparently I really needed it. <sighs> yeah, where was I? Yeah, when I was finished with the first one, I was actually pretty happy with how it turned out. But then when I drew this one, I was like, hey, this became even better. <laughs> I really like this one. I like the colors um, and how it turned out in the end. And then when I did the third one, I also became really happy with that one, so yeah. It can be really good at times to just draw it again and again and uh, color it again and again and try different styles and different techniques and whatnot. Something I realized when I was working on this one is that I still have a really bad problem with keeping things, uh, doing things with a high contrast. I'm really bad at doing so um, when I'm actually coloring so I usually I do this later on with the, this one I go in later with a filter in Photoshop instead and just make the contrast higher that way it's maybe it's a bit cheating maybe not I don't know but I'm just really bad at putting down very high contrast from the beginning I don't know I'm just really bad at that something I need to learn how to do Also, I'm really happy with how the, her hair turned out in this one. I'm really usually not good at doing that shade in the hair, but here I actually managed to do it and I'm so happy. I'm finally learning, sort of, starting to learn how to paint hair. And that's a big thing for me. 
And here she is, the second one. Second witch. I really like this one. And move on to number three. The third one uh, didn't record the first layer I did, or layers, so excuse that, but yeah. I put down her skin color and her hair, this time she's blonde, and then I just, I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna make this one yellow. I have no idea where it came from, but it was one of those colors that I just wanted to paint with. I don't usually paint so much with yellow and really, really dark or light you know orange type of colors and i love orange and i started to really love this yellow um, color too especially this 70s uh, yellow i absolutely love it so i just uh, just decided to you know what i'm gonna do there do a yellow one and the coloring i went with this time is i have no idea what it's called but I've done it a couple of times now. It's straight lines, no blurred, shading. I want to call it cell shading, but I'm not sure if that's correct, but that's what I'm gonna say anyway. And this style is, I love it, but I haven't worked on it too much yet. I just started to work with this type of coloring just maybe two years ago, maybe, maybe longer. I'm not sure actually. And I have yet to do it really well. I'm really not good at it. Mostly because this takes more time than doing the other versions. So, and I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> so maybe that's why I haven't done this so much yet. I also really like her eye color in this one. I gave her blue eyes and they are really shining in contrast with everything yellow on her clothes. I didn't like this one at first. I didn't think this was the best. I... Nah, I didn't like it. But then in the end, this one, I became really, really proud of this one. I think the final touches with this white really just sold it for me and now I think I like this the best either this one or the second one I, I can't choose which one did you like the best please comment which one you like the best and here we are here's the third one and yeah that was all three of them this was my little attempt at getting back into photoshop and i have no idea how it went but um, i feel a bit better now than i did when i started so that's always something please tell me which one of the witches that you like the best and do you have any tips on when you're starting out with a new material then please tell me so because i need all the help i can get right now with these new programs take care and i will see you in the next video bye